Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Holmes of the Wall Street Journal, and this is how you spruce up your table for a special occasion. If there is one holiday that we have to vote the glitziest of them all, it has to be New Year's. I mean, come on, there's confetti, there's fun clothing, there's champagne, it all dazzles. So if you are planning to throw a dinner party to usher in 2013, then the key to setting your table is by adding some metallic accents. To get some glittery advice, we've come to, where else, the Martha Stewart headquarters, and we are turning now to Pilar Guzman, Editor-in-Chief of Martha Stewart Living. Hi! Hello there. How are you? I'm well, and you? Good, thank you. So tell me, where do we start with this? So, what we've done here is actually we've mixed the metallics. It's not your mother's dining room table. This is about mixing copper with gold and silver and pulling from your pantry all of your favorite glittery objects um, and housewares and plates and, and actually adding a couple of DIY crafty elements with simple tools like spray paint and craft paint. And you know, look, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and I love that you've made this really easy for us. Well, you know, the simplest place to start is you know, it's, it, often we have cheap candlesticks lying around and some of them are mismatched and that's, there's a little bit of freedom in being able to mix some of these things and taking things that you can't put entirely down a table okay. because they don't look great on their own, but when you apply a little, a little <laughs> shimmer to it, a it becomes thing. special. Um, similarly, these are very simple blank tags that you can use um, a sewing machine, uh, use the program that has the embroidery, if you do have a sewing machine, okay. not everybody does, but you know, you don't have to do all of these things. Yes. You can sort of pick and, choose. pick and choose, you can do, you know, one little accent even goes a long way, like look at this little bit of pine, anything that you can trim from the oh, yard, a little this. piece of, of, of evergreen with some spray paint, okay. goes a long way, tied with a little bit of shimmery ribbon, gold, silver, it doesn't really matter, and the idea is you can go to the fabric store, get you know, a couple of little things, a can of spray paint, and you've already elevated your table tenfold. I love it, and you've tied it together with a napkin and made it look like Exactly, and, and you know what's nice is that it doesn't have to all be gold, silver. You can use brown napkins and bring in a bit of nature and then accent it with that little, you know, pizzazz to go with your fabulous holiday <laughs> outfit. Know, why not? <laughs> I love this copper name tag, name plate this, here. I love this too, and this is actually maybe the most involved, but it's still not that elaborate. You take a wood block, you know, if you have scraps of wood, I don't, you know, not everybody does, but, or you could take a child's block even. Oh, great. Um, and then you use copper flashing and an embossing tool. Okay. You can go onto our, our website and download um, any, any font that you like. You can trace with an embossing tool the names of your guests. And it's a very simple thing to do, and we, we make a, a great embossing tool um, that's sold at the Home Depot. And it looks so chic. It looks like you spent like a lot of time and energy and making it, does. it, right? And, you know, it's just that little added element that goes a long way, and everybody, you know, they sit down at their place card and they, oh, look, oh, look somebody thought me. of me, and it's very special. And I'm a huge proponent of place cards because then everybody knows where they're supposed to sit, and Ex you can plan. Exactly. And then, you know, it's copper with gold permission to mix, yes. we love that, because then you can kind of pull from your favorite things. Um, this is actually, if you can believe it, fabric from the fabric store, it's a oh metallic fabric. Oh, that's so which cool. Which is great, you know, you just cut off lengths of it and you, you drape it across, you don't have to cover your entire table. Okay, This Super is easy. craft paper, um, and also we have a faux bois tool, which creates the look of wood grain. Okay. Um, it's a very simple application of paint, and the faux bois tool, wow. dragging it across the the the, uh, the length of the butcher paper, and that is also one of the tools that we make for the Home Depot. Okay. Um, but again, you can get different looks, different textures, and and you can really mix and have fun. Yes. Um, these rocks, again, playing with our nature motif. Okay. You know, jazzing up bits of nature with gold, and in this case, we have gold leaf. It's a simple application of glue, for these? Um, special gilding glue, yes, um, so and cool. and then you lay the gold leaf over um, and it, you know, it takes a little bit of time to dry, okay. um, but it's a fairly simple technique, again, these are very easy tips that you can find on our website, um, so cool. and you know, it just pulls a look together, this again, the twig kind of ties in with our, our nature motif with the rock, you're really just elevating bits of nature. I love this. I'm gonna like go to Central Park and start scavenging. It's I a think. great idea, yeah. right? So if you're if you're painting all this stuff, should you do it 
pretty far in advance to make sure it drives. Yes, um, you know, you need 24 hours to, to let the, the, the gilding um, dry once you, you burnish it. It's, it's three easy steps. Okay. Anyone can do it. So where would you get copper? Like copper flashing, store? yeah, you can get that at any hardware store or craft oh. store. Okay, cool. And then I, I love this, too. Simple hurricanes, you put a little shot glass in the bottom. You can either use the candle wax to adhere a gold candlestick to the bottom or use stickum, which is um, a product you can get online or in flower shops. Oh, I love it. Well, this is gorgeous. I think I have to have you over for New Year's Eve. I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. For more tips, tricks, and the latest style news, keep it at youtube.com slash WSJ. You can find me on Twitter at eholmeswsj. You'll see in all these things, there's some little element that's inspired by the Nutcracker. So the cupcakes with the little presents. Yeah, exactly. You need a little bit of room between the ear and the nape of the neck, so I find okay. a happy medium.